Hello students, it's Mrs. Sorley, and today we have a goal of looking at evolutionary development and diversification of species. So another way to say that is we're looking at a species ancestors and how species are related to one another yet unique in their own way. And you have a mystery code. So we are going to find out what U94922 means and then put it in relationship to other species. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I already had mega loaded, please do that yourself or it will automatically pull it up for you later. I pull in my favorite browser, mine happens to be Chrome, and I'm going to pull up a website. When I put in NCBI, I get National Center for Biotechnology Information, and that's what we're using. We're using a scientific website that is used by scientists, but it is a free source on the web, so you are using exactly what scientists use. NCBI is what we need. Right here you notice that it will default to all databases and that's perfect. So let's put up our code U94922 and see what happens. When I choose to search that, I already have some information. Cliveromyces lactis 26S ribosomal RNA gene a partial sequence. That's a mouthful. The neat thing is you're going to find out that this is the name of the species, Cleverum, or Cleveromyces lactis, and from now on we're going to call it a little shortcut name. We're going to call it K-lactis. So I'm going to select this link, and I can find out more information about this particular species. I'm going to stop right here, and I notice that my U94922 turns out to be something called an accession number. So the species have a number related to it. It kind of reminds me of being in the library, like a book has a number um, that you can query your call number. It's, it's sort of like that. It's another way to help classify species. And my organism is K. lactis. When I choose this link, I can find out some things. Click on organism name to get more information. OK, I shall do that. And I have a full lineage here. So this is like, to make a connection for you would be like your parents, your grandparents, your great grandparents, and so up the line. I also have a number of synonyms. And you might think, well, why is that important? I know I thought that. And the reason why it's important is if, I'm just gonna use a quick analogy. So if you were looking up um, the last name of Sorley and the first name of Elizabeth, if you think that's her name, um, you, you can maybe find it in the phone book or online, but then you find out that she goes by Eliza or Lisa or Lizzie or Liz. All of those are synonyms that are that pull up to the name Elizabeth. And if you want to know it's the same person, there's a little bit of background knowledge, and this is the same thing. All of it looks very similar to Claviromyces lactis, but there's little differences. And this is kind of evolutionary in itself, too. It's like as they learn more about species, they're able to say, okay, this was previously named this, and now we're calling it K-Lactis. Using my back browser arrow, I'm going back to this home screen with K-Lactis, and I see that there's an article, PubMed Med means there's an article written about it. Here's what the journal article is. If I want to read that article or find out, hey, what is it sort of about? I might need to look at this. I can choose the PubMed link and then I can see something called an abstract and that will tell me what the the article will be about. They're written by scientists for scientists to share the information. This should look familiar to you. A's, C's, G's and T's. This is the DNA sequence for the the piece of DNA that has been sequenced for K-lactis. What we're going to do is we're going to, instead of typing the A's or copying and pasting A, C, T, G, we're going to do a shortcut. So we need this file, this fast A, that's how it's pronounced, fast A file. And what I'm going to show you is you can send the whole file over to Mega and we can play with it in Mega and do some manipulations. So the format is a Gen Bank, but we have to change it to fast A. And yes, that's how it's pronounced, fast A. Create a file, and right away I get a notification. It wants to open up Mega, 
Meg has been downloaded from the internet. Are you sure? Yep, I am sure. I'm going to open it up. And ta-da! I have Clavaromyces lactis, K. lactis loaded. I'll make this a little larger for you. That's great, except remember we are looking at ancestors and how species are related to one another and yet unique. So far I just have unique. I need to know, I need to load more to see relationships. So if you go to edit and you insert a sequence from a file, you have the phylogenetic tree comparison. That's what you're going to choose. My guess is by the time you do it, you won't have um, extra files added on here. That's just for my use. It showed up right away, but I'm going to show you um, something that may happen to you. If it happens to your files of type, happen to default to something like the PIR or the .brf, you will see nothing. So make sure that you are in all, and then you should see your phylogenetic tree comparison. When I open that, I populated my screen with more choices. You'll notice that this appears grayed out. That's actually telling me that it's highlighted. But I want to also highlight my last one, my K. lactis, to see what see the relationship. When I click on that, then my other ones become unhighlighted or deselected. So you can do it a couple different ways. Start from the bottom, shift key, arrow up, start from the top, shift key, arrow down. They're highlighted. And now we are going to align. And what alignment means is take a look at this row. It's T, G, T, T, G, T. We want to go as far as we can with the same letter. So either all T's or all G's. That's what alignment means. We're going to use the muscle align alignment tool. Most softwares have a couple of different ways to skin the cat. This one is no different. You can choose this icon the arm with the muscle, or you can choose alignment, align by muscle. That's what we need. You'll see this screen that tells you some presets and it also gives you um, some citation information of where the math came from to line this up and now we want to compute. So this is going to do all the work for us. You'll see a couple of scroll bars. And now if I take a row, I see G, 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 G. A, 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 A. See how it shifted things? They won't be perfect. I'm looking to see if I have some problems to show you. Boy, it really does seem perfect. Um, but it's going to be very good. Right here we have dashes. What was the computer is telling us, I'm not really sure what was here. And then under this particular example, it, it feels that there's an A there. This is really well aligned. We have to export this alignment to the FASTA format. Save it in your file that we started. Sequence 6 is what it's downloading as for me. I'm going to be okay with that. I just minimize that screen and I'm at the mega home screen. If you notice, when I put my cursor here, I see what's kind of hidden in the background. This is the files that we started. So we want to create a phylogenetic tree. We're going to construct a neighbor joining tree today. And it wants to know what file we want. So I'm in the right folder for me, but I can't find my file. So I have, I'm going to choose all files again. Remember, if you can't see it, try that. And I just had it saved as sequence six, six, excuse me. Please make sure you know what yours is saved as. We are going to do a nucleotide sequence. Protein coding nucleotides? Nope, we don't need that. And now this is the same thing where it tells you some defaults. I'll get some scroll bars. It's doing a lot of math for me. And here's my phylogenetic tree. The alignment seems just a little bit off for me. I'm going to make this larger. I like to clean it up by display only topology here. There we go. And now I can see based on these clades, these 
uh, brackets how things are aligned. And remember, originally we were looking at um, U94922. So you have to pay attention to your K-lactis, which is right here. And there are some questions that you can answer on your mission sheet based on this tree. So good luck to you. And remember always, drink milk, read books.